Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes we end up with a problem like this, which has missing terms. Here we have x to the fourth minus 10x squared minus 7 divided by x plus 3. Notice the x cubed term is missing and the x to the first uh, power is missing. So when you're going to use synthetic division, you really need to add those in there. And then when you set it up, those zeros need to be there. So we get the following. So this becomes a 1, a 0, a minus 10, a 0, and a minus 7. We'll put the two lines down on the left side. We get the negative of that number, which is negative 3. And then we drop the first number down, which is a 1. And now we're ready to go to solve this problem. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Add the two together, you get negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. Add them together, you get negative 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3. Add them together, you get 3. Negative 3 times a 3 is a negative 9. Add them together, you get negative 16. Notice in this case, we do have a remainder. Since the original problem started with x to the fourth, right? This was the x to the fourth term, x cubed, x squared, x to the first power, x to the zero power. Then over here, the answer will be x cubed, x squared, x to the first power, x to the zero power. And we have a remainder. So the solution to that division is as follows. We have 1x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 3 with a remainder of a minus 16 divided by the divisor, which is x plus 3. And so maybe we'll put the negative over here because that makes it cleaner. And notice that is the final result. We have the result over here plus a remainder of minus 16 over the x plus 3 in the denominator. And that is how it's done.